Hi and uh, welcome to uh, a full BOD of Slash Square Tickets. Um, so this is gonna be you know a supplement to the to the guide that I made, and uh, this is about a short game, I think about 20 minutes. And uh, in this game, I will talk a bit about how you know the way I play Tekis, um and uh, go into some more detail detail of uh, how I think this hero should be played. So um, the most important thing for me when playing this hero is that I don't fall behind in levels and um, I don't fall behind in farm. So you know whatever you do you can't really prevent the enemy from farming. So um, it's you can you can you know place mines and keep them down but they will still get levels, maybe not as fast, and they will still get gold. So um, you really don't want a hero that kind of gets used this late, since then uh, your teammates just kind of have to, you know, do all the carrying from there on. Um, and Tegis is not really a hero that can, you know, hard support in the beginning, like maybe Crystal Maiden, who, well, she also gets, you know, useless later, but. Um, Tech is he's kinda, you know he's not, you know, that good support and can really, you know, support a, a safe laner. So what I do with Tech is, is that I go uh, offlane with him. And uh, you know, I talked to Wee about this and uh, he's you know, the, the number one ranked on e Europe with like six seven thousand three hundred MMR or something like that. And uh, what he said is that Tech is his best, um, is, is, is best mid, but it's kind of hard to uh, to be allowed to to go middle for a team, and you know I, I think he works he works well on the offline as well. You can really um, if they have a melee farmer, you can really shut him down and you know get a lot of kills on on him with suicide. So what what I do here is that I um, I check for for the room at the beginning um, and see if uh, if I can uh, if I can snatch that and it's actually you know kind of a risky move since what actually happens is that they uh, <laughs> slack and turn the dragon and wisp they all check it and I'm kind of like you know really stubborn so I'm like yeah whatever I'm still gonna take the room. And I get really lucky, so I find actually a, a haste here. So I'm pretty much secure there at first blood. Maybe I should have Windows Slag, I probably should have Windows Slag, but... Um, so first of all, I don't die and I can just, you know, harass. And then just, you know, it's gonna suicide and... So I just suicide to another dragon. I think I actually should have waited. If I had waited there, I could maybe have got a, you know, first blood or maybe, you know, double kill and maybe triple kill. But um, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't really have you know waited too long, since I had I had to you know wait for my um, suicide. I, I had to wait for my haste to. I, I I couldn't have waited until my haste had run out. So I had like the time where I have haste, and then I had the I could act. Um, but I actually I think I had like still maybe twenty seconds, thirty seconds left on the haste. The anyway, way I get the first part, and you know. It's kind of it's nice to use suicide, but it's also kind of you you really don't you know unless you get first, but you really don't want to waste it. Uh, if you get a kill, that's fine as well. But <laughs> right now I have to cool down, so I'm I'm forced to play a lot more uh, defensively. And um, Twin Dragon, if he wanted, he could almost you know push me away from the lane. So use suicide if you got the chance, but. Don't uh, try not to, you know, waste it. Since you know, if Slag maybe had had catch me there, then maybe I'm dead. If I have suicide, I can kill him. And uh, if I have suicide, I could also, you know, kill Slag right now, since he only has two base um, armor. So um, that would uh, that would have been pretty pretty good. And um, you know, when I have suicide cooldown, I just skill skill um, skill the mines. If I hadn't suicide cooldown, I might have, you know. Skill suicide and stuff. The great thing about Tegis offlane is that when he has seven armor, 
you know, it doesn't it doesn't have you know that high um, base damage or has like incredible low base damage. I can still you know harass people out of the lane. So right here, I accept pretty good. You know, they general, general dragons tries to um, pull the creep wave and double pull, and I actually managed to intercept it and get all that farm. And one of the things I have to be careful is that I don't you know push it into my mines. So I just you know take it to the creeps and make sure that it goes all the way around. So um, the suicide is gonna be off cooldown soon again, and then I can maybe try to get a kill. And um, I usually I get boots before suicide. Oh, look at that guy last hit me. Okay, <laughs> so I get uh, boots before, I mean, boots before soul ring, since you really don't want to be caught out with only 270 move speed. And this is actually, you know, I'm solo against a triple lane, and right now I'm level 4 and I have gotten first blood, and I have also gotten, you know, a lot of items, so that's, this is really a great, um, a great outflanking. And um, this the queue is overextended, taking way too much damage. So right now I have suicide level two, <laughs> and this slag he um, he has to be very uh, very careful. And slag is kind of you know it's a, a hero that's okay against takers, so I can suicide him, but he still has pounds, so he can maybe leave away. I think I actually you know miss it up here where I tried to go for the kill, but he yeah so. Right there, he was outside the the explosion radius. I think he was just outside the you know full explosion damage radius. Um, so he only took like maybe half damage or one third damage. If he had been a little bit closer, then I would have gotten another kill on him. So that's really a situation you don't want to happen. You don't want to happen. You don't want to, you don't want it to happen that you miss the suicide and then you don't have it and you're really forced to play a lot more defensive. And that's actually pretty annoying, you know, Wisps come with illusions and it dissemates my mind. A lot of people do that, they... It's actually happened to, to me quite often that people, they, they take the illusions and they just go check my mind. Also, Phil and he can summon his trees and then he just comes after me. So, I think the lesson that I could learn from that is as an offlane I should try to be more aware of the the rooms. So do I die here? Yeah, I think I die. Yeah. So if I had suicide, they they couldn't go at me at all, and I couldn't you know just plan a mine and then suicide them, and you know everything sh uh, would be fine. So I think s it might. You know I'm just, you know I'm 30 games in or something like that, but I'm still you know learning takers. And one of the things that I think would do different now is that I would, I wouldn't like have gone for that slack kill. Maybe I could have killed him, but still, you you really want the suicide to um, to be able to just stand in lane and especially against the tri lane, it may be better to just preserve it. So if they don't have any science anything, you know they can't go on you because you can just uh, you can just suicide. And you saw that that these creeps they actually went into my mines, and I think I w would you know place the mines you know a bit more behind the tower so that doesn't happen that the creeps take regular. So behind the tower but a little to the left. Thanks. And yeah, you know, right right here so the creeps doesn't you know, run in it, into it. But if they try to dive you, then they can uh, go into the mines. So it's actually I mean, I was actually you know a bit I didn't want to do the guide right now because my techies stats aren't very good. But I think that when you play offlane takers, you have an impact on the game, but it's not like Medusa or Vapier, where I can pretty much win one against five. Um, and with Medu Medusa or Vapier, I made that guy that had like five one, so five wins and one loss. And then I was, okay, I'm ready for this guide. Um, and with takers now, I think. If I, you know, kept playing him, I think I could at least get 50% um, win rate, or maybe I could um, climb MMR. 
but you know, I, th- I think that uh, you know I have at least gotten a lot better than than in the beginning. And you know, in the beginning, I experimented around with. I tried to get Necrobook, and I also tried Threads, which I think are okay on tickets, but I think you really need the uh, Tranquil Boots. You can also go to Kings if you want. I just like Tranquil since it, it keeps me my HP up. Um, and I also tried to skip a Gunnams, but I really think the way to go is to, to get a Gunnams. So we have um, some Tails players, they really like to to you know, get some mobility and you know four staff is also it can be a good item on Tegis. And especially if you know if you're against some ranged heroes and they try to um, to deny your your minds, then when they, they, they are there with game or sentries and they start hitting it, you can four staff them into your minds or remote your yeah, remote minds and then <laughs> just blow them up. So that like four staff there is actually pretty good. Um, so you see what I do right here is that I use um, just you know casual remote mine in the creep wave to first you know prevent that the fact that they might push and so that I get you know a lot more um, a lot more fun instead of just you know placing it farther behind and then hoping that they will run into it. So right now I'm level six and I'm not sure how much fun this life I have. I think I will go check it. See how much fun he has. So this luck, yes, okay, whoa, yes, 38, 39, 9, that's, well, I think you can get 80, so, 80 in 10 minutes, so that's actually, it's not, you know, super good, but um, right now he's he's not even, you know, last hitting here, because I, he doesn't know how many mines I have, and he's really scared, so he's actually missing a lot of uh, creeps here, and I actually have, have 22, 6, so I have half his, his last hit, and he had a triple, trialing supporting them so that's that's actually one of you know another thing why Tegis um, Tegis are so great at uh, in the offlane that you know he has suicide but also has these mines and if they leave the offlane he can push it and he's actually um, you know I'm not sure if he's as good as Phoenix offlane but he does you know provi- can provide a lot um, I noticed that how, how when I play him here, you know, I try to, you know, I I mine the the the, creep, the the lane, and I just stay in the lane and I just last it. So this last, you know, two minutes almost. Slack, it's like he doesn't dare go in the lane, and they they should really uh, buy some sentries for for him or something now. Now, but even if if they have sentries, I can still suicide him. So I have suicide level three and maybe soon maxed and. Then I can almost instant kill Slark. So Slark is actually ganking and going away. And we have this uh, Wisp just farming instead. So that's a, it's a really, really great uh, take game. Some, you know, it's it's also, it's much better to be against a ranged, like, I mean a melee, melee um, farmer. Since you can all, you can suicide pretty easy if the try to get lasted. But you're against, you know, the, I think one of the worst heroes to be against as take is uh, it's actually vital. So, so notice here how first of all when I laid that mine, most of the creeps they you know they don't die completely. Um, so I have to you know pre-hit them and I don't think I did that perfectly, I think I missed one. And also also that usually I like to just you know push into tower so I don't sometimes I don't reserve the mine from the tower, but I just use it on their creep so I can push in. Um, and I think we kill him. And this, oh, this guy, I don't know what he's doing. He's dying to the wisps. Wisp balls. So anyway, I have, I have uh, my soul ring now and my tranquil quills. And notice now how I have almost 300 HP right now, but I can you know heal up no problem. And that that is what tranquil allows me. So I'm just you know hiding here, not hitting. And uh, slack comes in, and even though I don't kill him, I just pre. Uh, activate them, and I think I do. And go suicide on him now if he doesn't run away. Yeah, but he um, he won't. He he couldn't kill Fur and uh. So I think I don't think that de- probably had silence. But you know you can use you can use suicide to get a kill like that, or you can also you know just use to deny yourself and 
It's best to use it, of course, to get a kill. Um, but if you can't do it, just deny yourself. But um, I'm level 9 right now and have both maxed, and I almost soon have to first my point booster. So. But I haven't really done a lot of damage on the tower. It's also pretty crazy, you know, I'm level 10 and I have 13 armor, Titan armor. Let's take this. So I get my point booster now. And... I have some mines there, but they, I don't think I, I will get her. So... What did I talk about else in the guide? Hmm... Yeah, um, push the tower as much as possible, you know, there has, has been a lot of um, heroes down bottom and they have, you know, you know, I've created a lot of space, but if, if they leave it, I just push as aggressively as I can. And, you know, right now I have 300 HP, or I had 300 HP, and because I have Tranquils, I will heal up so quickly. So I think it's better than, um, than getting Arcanes. Actually, I also tried uh, Dagon once with Tegis. But I very, very qu quickly found out that you don't have the mana to support Dagon. Not maybe you can get it like after Yules or after Hex. So if you go, if you go super late game, then you have um, maybe um, <laughs> Earl Scepter, and then it's um, a third third blade, and of course a Ganem and you know, other stuff. But then you can maybe get Dagon, since you will be able to like do instantly 1,800 damage or something. No, almost I think 2k damage. So we actually have no I'm um, not mines behind us so I so I, I talked said to my team that we should pull back. But they were like nah we will we'll die. And I'm like okay, whatever. I think Wade can die as well. Anyways notice you know how I plant the the remote mine here and just instantly um instantly activate it so I get uh, get slacked there. Oh I it's you know it's kinda hurts my it kind of hurts me when you know, have three heroes and they're all so close to the mines and you were like, okay, I have to activate them just to get one kill. I could have waited, but then maybe I couldn't have got anything. So another thing that's great with is, is that you can also just, you know, prevent them from getting it. So I don't just pan it there and just hit it so TSD can come close to the tower. And our team just took the top tower. Um, so I'm you know, solo defend against three people. I actually think that I, I knew that this Tuna Dragon was hiding in the jungle. It's kind of silly play for me. And, um, yeah, boom. <laughs> boom, baby. <laughs> so, Stasis Trap, you know, when I started playing Tegas, I was like, Okay, you only take one point in suicide, and then you take stasis traps, and like you know remote mines, and, st and then you should skill stasis trap because six seconds stun is so good. But um, you know, I quickly realized that you want to you want to max uh, mines and uh, the suicide and the stasis traps. They can work, and you can see in the in the slashes in you know, my guide that I actually use it um, quite effectively when defending the, bot, the, the top racks and I give PA like, two kills but you don't really have the mana to deploy them and you want to use your mana on the remote and landmines and stuff like that so So he has, you know, what I waited for was that he activated his ulti. I think I wanted to suicide. And I'm not sure if that actually was the best idea. This slug is like, lol, what the fuck? So I could also just, you know, cast mine. And I didn't have much mana, but maybe you should, you should probably use suicide only if, you know, maybe there's the last hero or he can do something against you or 
No, I think I, I think I use it too quickly there. Um, but anyways, we killed the almost entire team. And I'm actually, I'm not. Sh I don't think you use, you lose gold when you suicide. But I'm actually not completely sure. Um, and this is great when I have a guidance right now. I can just you know deploy it and then it's just boom and push away and pressure on the lanes. Right now, we're pressuring all the lanes. And if my team were to fight bottom against them, then I could just keep on pushing. Um, top lane and I could you know, do a lot of damage to the tower and you know at this point I usually get yields since you want some more mana to um, support your your expensive spells and yeah use use the the Ganem drop trick with soul ring but be careful, I actually lost, I think it was my Mystic Staff, it was pretty funny. They didn't have any Indus heroes I don't think in that game, but what they did have was they had a courier that was flying close nearby and they saw me drop it and I didn't see the courier and I was like 5 minutes I didn't. I had no idea where my Mystic Staff had went and I lost like 1000 gold. So I think you should do it. but. Just be careful, don't, especially don't lose your games. If you lose your games, it's, it's pretty bad. It's, it's not as bad as losing big on a material plate, but it's still pretty bad. So one of the things that people might you know, notice is that how I always use the remote mines just for the creeps instead of just placing them, but I, you know, especially here, they're pushing top, so I just pressure mid. And if they don't, they will have to either force to be forced to defend, or they will have to to just ignore the tower. I don't think they even have forty five, and I can deal a lot of damage to the tower. So what it, what I did there was actually I first went to the tower, and then I was you know acting like I placed a mine, and I they didn't forty five. Like okay, then I place a mine. Um, but I think they they can see when I place the mine. So good opponents shouldn't be tricked by it, but you can still uh, you know. Get some easy kills by or easy Radiance easy tower damage tower by doing that. And when you when you um, place mines here at these raxes, then you should place them between, since they'll damage them both. And the same thing about the the tower at the rex. No no no, no the tower at the, the throne. You can place it and um, just you know almost between, and it will damage both of them. So, um, but you know this is pretty much GG. I get the solo wax, get the wax solo, and like 19 minutes in, and my whole team are just wasting them, killing them. I think one of the things that you know, I think I contributed a lot in this game since I was against the Twilight, and I managed to get first blood, and I managed to get a lot of kills, and I managed to get a lot of fun. So um, I think. Turkey's carried this game, I have to say. And um, I think this kind of playstyle is, is ready for a guide. Though I've had, you know, I don't know, I don't know why I lost so much. I had like one game where someone, I picked Tegis and he was like, okay, I want to pick Tiny and go offlane with you so I can toss you into people. But he just fed the whole game and we were against a viper, so we couldn't really, you know, he can't, you can't just toss me into a viper level one. He won't, he won't die for that if he just has a few stat items, so he has the corrosive skin. And even if he dies, it's like, okay, he dies, and then he just buys TP and buy, and goes back, and then we are two against viper, and he can just stand against us. So, but um, yeah, I think I placed, you know, just between them, and it damages both. Boom. So um, yeah, tell me what you you think about this cast. I would prefer doing it with a co-caster, but I've had some problems. You know, it's it's much easier to just do it by myself, and I can just do it whenever I want. I try to find someone, but it's kind of hard. So. Anyways, if you um, you can maybe uh, mail me or just message me here on YouTube or whatever. If you maybe if you're a caster, or if you have a nice 
American voice og English voice og you speak. Do you speak good English? Um, then maybe I can contact you and we can do um, another maybe a lot together. Anyways, if you, if you enjoyed this, uh, be sure to subscribe. You can also check out my Twitter and Facebook and all that. Yada yada and my tweets and all that. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, then be sure to type them and maybe I will respond. Maybe someone, someone nice will respond in the, the comments. And don't be afraid of Tiggies. Go out there and blow stuff up. And show the team, show the world that Tegis is not a bad hero. And I don't think he's a bad hero. I think he's a legit hero and he's a good offlaner. Maybe it doesn't work that well against, you know, a hero like Viper offlane, but still. And Suicide Level 1 is pretty good. So thanks for watching and see you.